What's up, my Scorpio family? It's Obsidian Lotus L. I hope everybody is doing well. I wanted to hop on here while I was feeling well and do a reading for you guys. You guys, when I say I've tried to do this reading for you last night and today, several times, it's no joke. So hopefully we'll get, we'll get this thing going, right? Um, it's crazy. Last night I kept getting hot flashes and I would pull out the devil card and flip out. So I was like, you know what? And then finally I had my storage was full and I couldn't move forward doing a reading and I wasn't about to fight that energy anymore. Um, I had to actually like lay down and meditate for about an hour. Mind you, I felt great afterwards, but you know, it just, it was like, oh, you know, not today, Satan, right? <laughs> um, anyway, so guys, today I tried to do a reading and had to clear out some history and actually hopefully, fingers crossed that this works and fuck it, if it doesn't work, I'm just going to post the video with it cutting off at this point. I'm so frustrated. Excuse my language, but um, I looked back through all the videos that I've done, even like deleted videos that I had posted, you know, in just like the last five months and going through my journey. And I really got teary eyed guys, because, um, you really have given me an outlet, um, to feel like I'm not alone. Um, and just show me so much love and support. Um, I just got emotional looking back at the readings just because it's just been such a blessing for me in my life. Um, this channel, the love and support that I've gotten from each and every one of you, uh, you just have no idea. Um, I like to take a time out at the beginning of every reading and say thank you anyway for all the love and support. But um, especially those that have been, you know, walking with me through my journey. Uh, many of you know, if you follow me, I've been going through chemotherapy. And it hasn't been an easy journey, but it's, you know, it is what it is. And um, I, I just appreciate all the love and support I've been given. Um, you guys know I haven't been working and you helped provide a Christmas for my daughter. Um, you know, um, helped provide a way for me to live through this and, and not be so stressed out. And it's just been such a blessing. So any of you that have donated as well, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you guys just have been like blow me away um but with the love um the the genuine love and support and even the people that have been showing me love and support you know verbally prayers all of that stuff <laughs> same for you I just love you guys so so much um anyway moving forward if you'd like to donate <laughs> Let me not cry. Um, I do have a, a, don uh, a GoFundMe set up in my description box below. Um, I am getting prepared for a surgery. So, um, you know, it goes to medical expenses, living expenses. Um, um, and my daughter's birthday is coming up this month. So if you'd like to donate, um, my family would really appreciate it. If not, that's okay. Even a dollar helps, right? So I love you guys. Um, pray for me and send me love and support if you don't, if you can, right? So that stuff is just as important. And that kind of ties into the message that I had for you guys today. Um, I was getting a message moving into the reading, right? Um, about um, mental force and strength and it being magical and understanding just how powerful you can be with words, with thoughts. Um, and through prayer and meditation for me, that's the biggest thing. Like, you know, yesterday I noticed the last couple of days I've been really meditating heavy and like my energy, you know, today I just woke up and I felt fucking great. And it was just so, so nice to feel for me what I've been going through that good. And it's just, there is power in, um, in it, right. And it can almost feel magical. And I feel like you're kind of coming out of this energy of feeling like you've been restricted. And it's almost like, again, with the eight of swords energy, I pulled for your, and the pre energy for you. It's like a self-imposed present almost like it could be in your mind. It could be in your, in the way that you're thinking. And, and by changing this energy, you've taken, um, with a judgment and the full card, it's like a leap of faith in a new direction. And for a lot of you, I feel like it's the energy of this, like paying off for your life and off in your life and it feeling really magical. Um, a lot of you might be experiencing synchronicities right now. Uh, I just, uh, um, and that can also be like, kind of like a magical thing that when you experience it, when you're in touch with your source and, um, 
really, really practicing this stuff every day. It's amazing the messages that you will get, right? So, and for me, I love it. I woke up the other night, the full moon um, at 3.33. So I was like, thank you, Lord, right? So, um, and to me, that's divine protection. So, and then moon, um, and it could mean like, again, for my, cause I felt compelled to talk about it with you guys, family, like anybody that's trying to throw a moon magic or just ill will or intent your way. Don't worry. It's that divine protection. Three, three, three is there showing up. Um, cause you inspire others. There's something very inspiring about your energy with that card coming out really when I was talking about it. And also when I was meditating today, I looked over at this LaCroix box that I had in my living room. Um, And my neighbor just randomly gave it to me because she knew I liked the flavor. And I don't drink them that often. Every It's like my treat every once in a while, right? Other than water. And um, the box, after I had gotten done meditating, I looked over and there's a portion of the box that has all these little phrases on it. And the part that I like looked at was smile, happiness, and love, right? And to me, it just was beautiful because like that was given to me out of love right <laughs> and I feel like it's like Scorpio you might be experiencing this too it's just like smile enjoy what you've been manifesting and I've been getting this message for you if it's love if it's friendship if it's abundance in your life like see it see the small signs and really like it can feel magical and wonderful but just you know embrace it right spiritual lessons going on here with the Hierophant. Some of you could be moving into the spiritual teaching energy as well. All right, so let me do some oracle cards really quick before I get the reading started. Spirit, angels, and sisters, guides, and some of you guide Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Amen. All No joke though, last night I tried to do your reading like a few times and I was getting hot and I would pull the devil card. So whatever's going on with that, prayers are changing things for you. Look at this, as soon as I was talking about it, um, that, that powerful energy here and then having a decision to make because you are feeling broken, maybe this is what pushed you into this energy and now you're seeing that it's working. I love that message uh, with what, I just was talking about a little when that happened. So let's pull some tarot. Let's do a romance really quick too. For my Scorpios that want to know about love. What message do we have, Spirit? But it's the little things for me. It's like that box. Like she noticed that I like to drink it and just randomly was out of the store and and bought it for me and like I said I only drink it like once in a blue moon it's literally like a treat for me because it's carbonated and I try to stay away from anything but water right now um or tea if I have something else but like she remembered that that's what I liked and bought it and it just was so sweet it's the little things like that I love so passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so and then release your ex some of you you need to release the ex okay I know I'm all over the place right now. Sorry, it's probably chemo brain, but um, maybe the message before we're talking about the X here <laughs> associated with the box is appreciate the little things, Scorpio. Like see them and be grateful. Don't don't turn a blind eye, you know, because I feel like that's going to bring some even a spiritual awakening or something um, valuable. Um, just. Um, You know, sometimes it takes serious things to um, change our perspective in life, right? And, and understand how important things are. But, you know, it takes what it takes. And I feel like that this is what you've experienced or will be or have been. Passion. Allow your heart to sing with joy. So, again, if you're feeling like there's a lot of passion in the connection or this is a connection coming into you it, with the angel here, it's a divinely blessed connection. But there needs to be a level of somebody in the connection releasing, releasing an ex, whether it's you or your person. That energy is there. So, let's do the tarot and then some angel messages. I just saw the Ten of Cups. So, you're definitely moving into spiritual alignment, though. 
beautiful energy squirt now. Let's see what messages do we have for my Scorpio spirit? What messages do we have for my Scorpio? Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Amen. There's something that's either coming out involving an air sign, cancer energy, water energy. Somebody's going to regret something here. Um, but for you, it's it's things working out behind the scenes basically here. That's your energy queen of cups and allowing you to move forward here. Okay, so um, there was something, whether it was deceptive energy or just something that was like a feeling like a sense of annoyance with this card. Like she's just really annoyed with his mouth and mouth mouse maybe you're really annoyed with somebody's mouth right now the shit they're saying or something because that came out right but or have been and you're just like look no more right so something came out here too with the the moon carter will be coming out here um and with the five of cups right next to it that is feeling betrayed okay there's a sense of emotional loss here whatever comes out here you're going to feel betrayed or you have felt betrayed with the five of swords the moon energy but it's actually brought um it pushed you into the energy. That's what it is. Whatever this was, this betrayal has pushed you, Scorpio, into the energy here with this energy, with the three of wands, into it's like finding faith, right? But then you're having the first taste of successfully manifesting what it is that you want in your life, okay? It was this that took the push, or it took that to push you in this direction. Um, and now there's justice here with your energy, okay? Libra energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. karmic cycle of completion beautiful i love it scorpio it's exactly what i'm saying it's like be embrace the new embrace the love embrace the abundance because all of this coming into your energy is energy because you chose a different path you chose to release whatever it was in your mind with that eight of swords energy that was restricting you with even if it was just a way of thinking okay um, let's see what energy we have coming towards you. For some of you with a wheel of fortune, it is a change in partner because that also represents that as well. What energy do we have coming towards my Scorpios? <laughs> I just saw one, two, three. As soon as I said that, <laughs> this is the ace of wands. If you guys follow me, sorry, I'm giggly. You know what this means, right? This is a very intense, passionate energy. A lot of time it's it's sexually charged energy, very passionate energy with the Ace of Wands, the Star card, prayers being answered in a situation, having a new beginning, wow. With the Ace of Cups, I love it, Scorpio. Hmm. Somebody tried to get away with something here, or is, but they're walking from a different direction. So I feel like it's whoever, it's like, I think it's associated with like your new beginning. Somebody's looking at you. Could be a boss for some of you because this is a an earth sign boss figure. King, the king of pentacles energy or just an older earth sign. Masculine energy, somebody that has very masculine energy. They're trying to get away with something here, but it doesn't look like it's working. <laughs> Whatever's going on here with this energy for you, it's like this is all successful man manifesting. Oh, the devil was Capricorn energy, right? So earth energy and that message that I was getting last night and then the dream 333 being protected. So it's like, keep doing what you're doing. But this, who is the seven of swords energy with the king of pentacles? Trust your intuition involving something you already know that has to do with money and you being financially six, like uh, abundant here. Somebody doesn't like it. For some of you, I'm hearing it's like an ex. <laughs> they're like taking, see, look how he's looking back at this. Like they're trying to get away with something still walking away from you. They're not happy though about what's going on with you right now in your new abundance. Let's see. Oh, well. Uh, what other energy do we have coming towards Scorpio? It's 
it's like you know your worth here in a situation I see and you're taking some time if you take you know your worth you've taken the time to work on yourself and this is for some reason here an energy that was watching you has been forced not to somehow um or maybe they just got tired of feeling maybe this is the energy of like the the Archangel Gabriel coming in and kind of um pushing an energy into submission that I was talking about. Did I talk about that at the beginning of this reading? Now I feel like I'm not sure if I did or not. Maybe it was the other one, just in case I didn't. Um, I tried to do a reading for you guys and I had to start over, but the other one, I pulled Archangel Gabriel for your meditative energy, which is an archangel, which makes sense with the 333 being protected. Um, and then the energy of the devil trying to stop my reading last night, right? So it's like pushing, um, somebody's been pushed into submission here in some way, shape, or form. And if they were watching you or had some way of watching you, they're not, or there's something going on with that energy where they can't. Um, but it has to do with your growth and the options here and knowing your worth in a situation. So for some of you, if it's an ex, it's like you've blocked somehow or not given them. You took action in some way, shape, or form to take whatever, however they were doing it away. Your prayers are being answered here and there's a passionate new beginning here, okay? So again, this came out twice. Double confirmation. For some of you, if it was just prayers to get the hell away from someone and start something new, you've done the work here with the Page of Pentacles. You took the time, okay, and now you're getting it. That's successful manifesting. But again, with a release the X, there's a level of needing to release the X for some of you guys too, energetically. Um, let's see, what other energy do we have coming towards Scorpio? Somebody's got the feels for you, Scorpio. Um... But this is going to be, this person could be at a distance from you with the world card, the king of cups and the judgment. Somebody's like realizing that they do for some of you with these two cards here. The king of cups could be an older water sign. Doesn't ha necessarily have to be. That's just the energy of the card. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, For some of you, there's somebody like emotional here about um, if it's not like a romantic sense, it's like feeling um, very like about your health and positivity, whatever it is that like um, maybe somebody that's watched you through your journey. For some of you, it's a, um, a mother figure here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, who is Queen of Pentacles energy? Yeah, somebody's watching you change here. They've seen you like walk away from conflict and they're very proud. Now, if this isn't a mother figure that's here, I'm getting it's somebody that's passed away. And I'm hearing Taurus energy, mother figure, grandmother. There's somebody here that's passed away that's an earth sign feminine that's proud of you. And this is success here. They're proud of your success in whatever you're doing. Oh, I like that. What other energy do we have for Scorpio? What other energy do we have for Scorpio? Here? Somebody feels caught in the middle or torn here. It could be an energy coming towards you. They're waiting to make a decision. They're torn. There could be another person here that they're some involvement with yep as soon as I said a third party energy and they don't know which direction to go I feel like it's a hard decision again somebody feels torn here with this energy it's like somebody they've already invested some time in here or they feel torn that they want to invest time with you um but there's some sort of like with the two of wands energy here it's like trying to decide to stay or go but craving a new experience here in a third party energy so somebody is like trying it's like torn but kind of like wanting to come towards you if this is somebody resonating with somebody that's dealing with somebody else or has been seeing somebody else queen of wands energy it could be an older fire sign feminine energy it doesn't necessarily have to be this could be just yeah
for some of you or for some of you, this, this person, this is a deceptive female energy with the five of swords coming out. And this person is craving new experiences because they're tired of that with this person's energy. They like your energy here, but they're torn for some reason. Why is this two of swords here? Somebody might have children with somebody here. Um... There's something like in relation to children here in a situation. And somebody is really trying to do some soul searching here. Virgo energy. Knight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Hmm. It's like, I feel like somebody's torn here and like trying to make a decision. They're like, they've, they're up at night thinking about you, Scorpio. They want, they have this, see this frog. <laughs> somebody's going to kiss the toad and they're going to turn into a prince, right? It's, sorry. The energy of the Knight of Cups here, though, it's like somebody's got like, it's a small offer. It's not huge. I feel like, but there's something here. See how it's like you talk on this person's heartstrings in some way, shape or form. There's some kind of a connection here that they don't have with this other energy. I don't understand what, why though this person feels like, for some of, for there's like a mother figure that's in, in between the two of you. Ten of swords, but it's over. So why is it an issue? Three of pentacles, they work together. Some of there's some kind of like level of working with this person's energy, and for some, like this person still kind of ha like makes sexual advances toward so maybe there's been some level of like still a sexual connection here with this energy that hasn't gone away. But I feel like this is new, Scorpio. So I feel like it's somebody kind of trying to wrap up a cycle with somebody else again. Remember, release X, it might not be you, it could be this person. All right, what's the final outcome for Scorpio? And then we'll do some angel tarot. Whoop. All right, so the tower spun around and it landed in reverse. So I'm going to take it in reverse. Scorpio energy. Ace of Cups. Let's do one more. Well, three more came out, so... Interesting. Final outcome for some of you, you might have because it's been Mercury, Mercury retrograde, excuse me, somebody from the past, Virgo energy, fire energy, air energy that's coming back offering the magic stack <laughs> with the Knight of Wands, right? And but the tower's in reverse. So I don't I don't see you. This person talks too much. And I see you looking at it as a situation that you're like, no, you talk too much anyway. Like there's no, I don't want to F up this new situation and I don't believe I get away with it or something here. It's like, whatever this is, Scorpio, I don't know. That's you. That's your business. The Ace of Cups, though, you do have new love, new abundance. This is a divine blessing, again, like coming in. And I feel like you're kind of like, yeah, I'm not going to let something mess it up right now for you. Let's see. One more on the Ace of Cups. New beginning. Okay. So you're being blessed with a new beginning. It's like manifestation working, right? Final outcome, we're taking it. Um, I feel like I want to know more about this other energy, but let's see. Let's see if I can pull a card. What's the... the the hold up children for some of for some of you it's children involved in a situation um and that's 
that might be if this is something new or something that coming into your future expect like maybe there might be a little bit of energy here of it's like somebody feeling like they put in time or invested a lot of time here with children and it's kind of hard to walk away from a situation i don't feel like you would want somebody to walk away from their children scorpio but i feel like it has to do there's a level of something here with a somebody's walking away from it they're a forward movement so it's like there's something emotional that has to do with i don't know they could have like a crazy baby mama or ex baby daddy that's like you want to go that way well then you get to see your kids less or something crazy and that's that's emotional here in this movement for some of you it sucks when people do that but people do do it all right any other energy for scorpio and then we're gonna do two. what's what's this this is the last card <laughs> look taking a leap of faith new beginning it's come out three times third time's a charm right so let's keep it there what other messages do we have with the angel tarot for scorpio what other messages do we have for scorpio Archangel Michael. I love it. It's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. I was just thinking about my angels right now in protection. Success and conflict, overcoming adversity. So, I mean, he's right there calling them. Thank you, Archangel Michael. You're being protected. Whatever challenges you've been going through. Your angels are asking you to be patient with this energy coming in, okay? Um, and it has to do with if you feel like you're there's a fear of being left out in the cold here with this Five of Pentacles energy or just something, there's an energy of being patient. They're also revealing secrets here to you that spreads knowledge, knowledge within um, your industry here. So this could be beneficial to money and, and just being patient here with this energy. Um, Nine of Cups energy, this is beautiful. Um, it says God is the kindest giver, healing and preserves health and cures diseases. So with this nine of cups, this is being content, right? Curing this energy. If you were going through whatever it was before, feeling not content, um, having disease in your body, right? Um, you're being healed here in this energy. Another archangel, ugh, archangel, this is excuse me, Metatron, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, and this is advancement and progress. So again, this is, goes with the reading. I love it. Um, you know, and this is recording events in the book of life. This angel is here, like here, the recording angel, like this is your progress being noted, not only by, um, remember I said somebody that has passed away, a mother figure was like, proud of you this is like angel energy as well but like in the spirit realm i feel like whatever you're doing or whatever you've been doing like somebody is just so so proud of you and your angels are here with you as well with this change with this next this is destiny whatever's it's like the wheel of fortune is destiny it's fate it's meant to be it's nobody can take it from you it's your destiny scorpio right so they're proud of you for moving into this energy and i feel like it has to do with divine purpose with the eight of cups this is transformation and then you walked away from things here this is uh god the pleasure of man's children give gives consolation and adversity but it's this energy here um, of being, you know, consoled through this adversity, the challenges and walking away, whatever came with it. Um, but you've been guided into this new energy, Scorpio, um, of, again, um, as I was saying at the beginning of the reading, finding faith and and kind of getting the first taste of successfully manifesting by the change in your life that you've made for this energy. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. I like it, Scorpio. This has been a super positive reading. Um, what other messages do we have for my lovely Scorpio family? For the tea leaf pods, what other messages do we have for my Scorpio family? Teapot. 
deep friendship with someone of the same sex with the teapot so you could have there this could just be like enjoy friendship right or there could be um a connection here coming in for you somebody with the same sex that you'll be able to kind of let some steam out with right with a teapot spill the tea talk about it right too much concern with sexual matters with a rabbit so i mean you're a scorpio right so sometimes it's it's hard to like let go of that energy but there this could be spirit saying okay there needs to be you know, less concern right now with sexual matters in your life moving forward for whatever reason, right? So um, if you've been like, there's been a lot of pressure here with sexual matters, let it go, okay? Warning, you have a problem either now or in the future with the finger. And then someone will gossip about all your secrets. So with this and this together, be careful about who you are talking to. Okay, because somebody will talk about somebody that you don't be careful about with a pair. Somebody talks too much, basically. Be careful about what you're talking about with someone here. And I'm going to end it here because this is great success, right? So, again, extra confirmation that you're being, um, you're on the right path, okay? And then good fortune and great luck with the four-leaf clover. I love it, especially moving, um, you know into the new year and 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 feeling kind of unsure of the unknown um i like seeing this for you guys so i love you i hope this message was helpful for someone um until next time lots of love and light again if you'd like to donate that information is in the description box below until next time guys bye